Hey there, it's Professor McDonald. In a previous video, you learned how to understand what the standard deviation is and the common symbols involved in the formulas, the mathematical formula for standard deviation. Let's look at those again here. So we have the population standard deviation formula shown here, where we divide by the, the we divide the sum of the squared deviations by the sam the population size and then take the square root. And the only difference with the sample statistic, besides the actual symbols, because it's representing sample values, the only difference besides that is that we divide by n minus 1 instead of dividing by n before taking the square root. We have the Excel formulas that we can use to verify after we use the mathematical formulas to calculate these. And just a review of the basic or the, um, the symbols that are involved here. When it's a population parameter, we have capital letters or Greek letters. And if it's a sample statistic, typically a lowercase letter with maybe an accent on it of some kind. And so I think that gets us where we can learn how to actually do the steps now. So if you'd like to know more to try to understand what a standard deviation is, you can watch the previous video, but in short, it's a type of average amount of distance that the x values tend to deviate or be different from the mean. So the steps to take are to first calculate the population mean, and we can use the count function to um, count how many sample values we have or population values we have in this case. And then we can use that with the sum of the x values. In fact, let's go ahead and do a summation here at the bottom of my x values. So we have the total x's, the sum of x is 51. Now we can get the mean by taking that sum and dividing by the population size. Next, we can calculate each deviation by clicking on the x value and subtracting the mean. And we'd like to make that an absolute reference so that we're always referring to that same cell that contains the mean when we drag the formula. Now we can drag the formula down. And if any of this seems like I'm moving too fast or you're not sure how to do things like um, just put in a formula or anything like that, you might want to watch the video um, Excel Basics. Now we're ready to square each deviation because notice that if we do the summation of the deviations, we get something that's very close to zero. So I'm going to get something like that. And so that's not going to help us in finding an average deviation. We divide by n, we're just going to get zero. And certainly there is a deviation of each value here from this mean of 10.2. So what we'll do is we'll square all of these deviations so that they are positive quantities. So we just take each deviation and raise it to the power of 2. Then copy it down. And then we can take the sum of that. We can drag the summation from the side here. All right, so now we have the sum of all the squared deviations. When we divide that by the population size, we get the variance, s squared. Then we can take the square root of the variance, and that is our standard deviation. Now to verify that we've done all our steps correctly and, and ended up at the correct answer, let's use the Excel formula stdev.p for population, and then input the array of x values. And there we can see that we've done everything right. Yay! Let's look at how to do the standard deviation next for a sample. 
same steps, all the same steps up until we divide the this sum. Instead of dividing by 5, we're going to divide by 1 less. So when I made this call, this um, cell, I just took the sample size and subtracted 1. And then this variance was the sum of the squared deviations divided by n minus 1. There's our variance. We took the square root to get the standard deviation of the sample. And using the Excel formula stdev.s on the x values, we verify that we have done our calculations correctly.